You launch a toy rocket from a height of 5 feet. The height h in feet of the rocket, t seconds after taking off, is given by the formula h equals negative 3 t squared plus 14 t plus 5. A, how long will it take for the rocket to hit the ground? B, find the time when the rocket is 5 feet from hitting the ground. So for part A, we need to recognize that when the rocket hits the ground, the height h is equal to zero. And therefore, to answer part A, we set h equal to zero and solve the resulting equation. We would have zero equals negative three t squared plus 14 t plus five. And now we'll solve this by factoring, and we'll use the factor by grouping technique. Notice the given trinomial fits the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not a common factor. But also notice how the leading coefficient is negative. We typically prefer to have the leading coefficient be positive. So for the first step, let's factor negative one from the right side of the equation. So we'd have zero equals negative one times, in brackets, we'd have positive three t squared minus 14 t minus five. Notice how if we distribute, we still have negative three t squared plus 14 t plus five. And now we'll factor the trinomial inside the brackets using the factor by grouping technique. So the first step is to find two integers, which we'll call R and S that have a product of A times C and whose sum is B. Where A is the coefficient of the degree two term, C is the constant term, and B is the coefficient of the degree one term. So looking at the trinomial inside the brackets, notice A is equal to three, B is equal to negative 14, and C is equal to negative five. So we're looking for two integers, R and S, that have a product of A times C, which is three times negative five or negative 15, and have a sum of B, which equals negative 14. Let's begin by listing the pairs of integers that give us a product of negative 15. We have negative one times 15, negative 15 times one, negative three times five, or negative five times three. Again, we're looking for the pair of integers that also have a sum of negative 14, which means we're looking for the integers negative 15 and positive one. Again, these are the correct integers because negative 15 times one equals negative 15, and negative 15 plus one is equal to negative 14. So using our notes below, this tells us that r is equal to negative 15 and s equals positive one. So we'll use these two values to rewrite minus 14 t as minus 15 t plus one t. So we'll have zero equals negative one times the quantity three t squared and then minus 15 t plus one t minus five. Now that we have the trinomial written as four terms, we'll factor this using factor by grouping. So we divide the four terms into two groups, factor the binomial on the left, and the binomial on the right. And we should have a common binomial factor. So we have zero equals negative one. Looking at just the first two terms, the greatest common factor is three t, so we'll factor out three t. We'll factor out three t from three t squared, we're left with one factor of t. If we factor out three t from negative 15 t, we're left with negative five or minus five. Now looking at the binomial on the right side, the only common factor they share is one, so we'll factor out positive one, so we have plus one. If we factor out one, it's not going to change either term, we'll have the quantity t minus five. But looking at the two products inside the brackets, we have a common binomial factor of t minus five. So now we'll factor out t minus five from these two products. If we factor out the quantity t minus five, notice how we're left with the quantity three t plus one. Let's continue on the next slide. While this is factored correctly, we can drop the one on the negative one and also drop the brackets. So we can rewrite this as zero equals negative and then the quantity t minus five times the quantity three t plus one. Using the zero product property, the product on the right is equal to zero when t minus five equals zero or when three t plus one equals zero. 
Solving for t here, we'd add five to both sides to get t equals five, or here we would subtract one on both sides, giving us three t equals negative one, divide both sides by three, and get t equals negative one-third. Remember, t represents time in seconds, and because time cannot be negative, the solution does not apply in this situation. So our answer is t equals five. Going back to the question, this tells us the rocket hits the ground after five seconds. If we look at the graph of this equation on the coordinate plane, we can verify our answer is correct. Notice how we have time in seconds along the horizontal axis and height in feet along the vertical axis. Notice at this point here, after five seconds, the height is zero, which means a rocket hits the ground. Now for part B, we're asked to find the time when the rocket is five feet from hitting the ground. So they're giving us that the height is five feet, we need to determine the time when this occurs. So for part B, we substitute five for h. This would give us the equation five equals negative three t squared plus 14 t plus five. Let's go ahead and solve this equation by factoring. So the first step is to set one side of the equation equal to zero. Let's set the left side equal to zero by subtracting five on both sides. Simplifying, five minus five is zero, so we have zero equals negative three t squared plus 14 t, and five minus five is zero. Factoring the right side, Remember the first step is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is t. Let's go ahead and factor out negative t. If we factor out negative t from negative three t squared, we're left with three t. If we factor out negative t from positive 14 t, we're left with negative 14 or minus 14. Using the zero product property, this product is equal to zero when negative t equals zero or when three t minus 14 equals zero. Solving negative t equals zero for t, we could divide both sides by negative one, giving us t equals zero, or to solve three t minus 14 equals zero for t, we would add 14 to both sides, giving us three t equals 14, dividing both sides by three, we have t equals 14 thirds. t equals zero is right when the rocket is launched, so we're not concerned about that time. We're concerned about after launching, when the height would be five feet again, which would be when t equals 14 thirds, or 14 thirds seconds. So the height is five feet at both times, but at t equals zero is right when the rocket is launched, which is given. So we'll say the rocket is five feet from hitting the ground after 14 thirds seconds. and 14 thirds is equal to four and two thirds. So we could also say four and two thirds seconds. To convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, we divide, notice 14 divided by three, there are four threes and 14, four times three is 12, we subtract, we have a remainder of two, which means the quotient is four, and two-thirds. We always put the remainder over the divisor to form the fraction. We go back to the graph one last time. Here's where h equals five. Once at time zero, right when the rocket is launched, and again here, which we now know is at time four and two-thirds or fourteen-thirds seconds. I hope you found this helpful.